Alrighty guys, we're back here for the second half of Shadowbrook Golf Course in my world. So we're here starting at hole 10. It's a straight out shot into the swamp connected to desert connected to the ice. Doesn't make any sense, but there's the water in front that will catch people. Little water patches over here and the bunkers in front and back of the green to catch you. Next hole is a long hole through the forest. Do the trees get in your way? Yeah, they do. There's a lake right here to catch you if you go straight at it, and there's a little bunker over here. And there's trees blocking your entire path. There is no fairway unless you can maneuver the little windy path that was left there naturally. Over there, again, there are some water patches around the green. However, oop, I just dropped some stuff. There is stuff right there. There's the whole surrounding bunker. You go up to the top, so I'll give you a little bit more of a vantage shot. This long hole. Oop, what hole is it? 10, 11, 12, this be hole 12 is par 5, par 4, 13, par 4, 12, par 4, 12, par 4, you take a shot out here, par 4, par 4, and you get onto this slope here, I made the little path, and you get over here to the green, and there's a bunker in the front, water in the back, water to the right, Bear chunk generation again, going on a hole 13. Hole 13, part 4. Shoots up. And you want to land in here, or if you want to get on there. Hole is on here on the cliff face. Then you go up to hole 14. This is where all the white, the blue, and the red, and black are. This hole is hard. Don't underestimate it. You take a straight out shot, goes down the hill. Then you'll try to land and go straight at it. However, you'll miss this bunker right here blocking the front. You'll miss some stuff on the left and water in the right. Too too green. Up here, this hole. If I can get off. Wherever I put the sign, I'm gonna put the sign here to This is the hardest hole, number 15 par 5. Your goal is to get over these trees. You overthrow them and get over here on top of this place with the bunker on top. This is a very nice place to end up. Then you can take your next shot. Oop. Looking over here towards the green. Now the green is circulated. There's a water circulator in the front. Stone block in the middle. Bunker. Then two to green. Water in all cases. Not a lot of room to work with. Trees. Everything. Horrible hole. Try to do good on them. So then you go over here to hole 16, it's par 3, it's the second hardest hole. Good. Sometimes par is good. On this case, yes, par is good. There's water here, land mass, then more water. You cannot make it over here anytime. Rarely can you make it over here. From the red, maybe. But then you get up to the green, there is a bunker in the back, and no room to the right. Drop off, and hill to the left, and back. You come up here to hole 17. It's a nice hole. Back on top here. You have to shoot up the mountain. Top of the weird cliffs again. Go hook all the way around. There's drop offs and everything. Bunker in the front. Snow cover green. Here. Then you go over to hole 18. Hole 18 is the signature hole of this course. It is awesome looking. Just the way it was able to be designed. Running back. Hole 18, this is called the lookout. Once it lenders in here, you can see how nice and beautiful it is. Looking back upon the center. Beautiful, but deadly hole. You have two choices when you're going through here shooting off this. You could either try to go for here, which I normally do with the bunker on it, or go for this tree, but that's a little strip island and it gives you a harder shot in. This shot over to here will give you the best angle at the green. You go over here to the green, you shoot it directly at it, and you can get over and up. There's a bunker hooking around here, water to the left. Green right here, two tiered, all the way. And that is it for this course. So, yep, this was Sh Shadow Brook. I'll be back here momentarily with. Yep, this was finished September 25th, 2013. Part 72. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like if you enjoyed these courses. Showing them off. And comment below where you want me to post them and how should I post them to you guys to play. 
and subscribe if you haven't already. It'd mean a whole lot, especially with the contest going on. Especially with the contest going on. So yeah, we'll be back here in a sec with the next course, but I won't give away the name. It's not an easy course at all, but it uses new cake trees. So I'll see you guys in a bit.